The analog sum is a pretty simple symbol. It adds analog values together and returns the result on its output line. To get an analog sum into your program, use the speed key A sum, or expand the analog operations folder and then click and drag an analog sum over to the detail view. The analog sum has an expandable number of inputs representing analog values that can be added together. And it also has one analog output for the sum of the inputs. The inputs can be signed or unsigned, but the output can either live in the range from 0 to 65535 or from negative 32768 over to 32767. So you can't expect the output to have negative numbers and an output value of 40,000. This is simply a limitation of the numeric types offered in simple. Let's make our example program. We're just going to use two analog sums and two analog increments. The parameters of both analog increments will be the same, and their inputs will be driven by our X panel. The first analog sum is going to show us what happens when the output is restricted to unsigned integers, and the second analog sum will have its output restricted to signed integers. And finally, the outputs of each analog sum and analog increment will be fed back to the X panel. That's it, let's compile and upload. The output of the analog sum is zero until something on its input changes. When the sum's inputs are modified, we see exactly what we'd expect. The output is the result of adding the two inputs together. But notice what happens when we change the inputs to give us a result that should be negative. The analog sum using the signed integer gives us the correct answer, but the unsigned analog sum gives us the wrong answer. In fact, it gives us a very large positive answer. And again, this goes back to the way that numeric formats are handled inside of simple windows. When you use the analog sum, make sure the numeric format of your output matches the values that you expect to get. In other words, if you expect to have negative numbers, make sure that you use signed integers. If you don't expect to have any negative numbers, make sure that you use unsigned integers. The analog sum is a symbol that rarely stands on its own inside of your Crestron program. Usually it's part of a larger process, maybe part of a calculation. For instance, it could be used to help you calculate an average, it could be used to convert feedback from a projector into lamp hours. But the most important takeaway from this video is the knowledge that there is a symbol that allows you to do this. If nothing else, maybe it'll keep you from having to write something in Simple Plus. Well, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give us a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see something else in our videos, leave us a comment below or on our Twitter or Facebook or Tumblr or Instagram pages. Maybe MySpace. We might have a MySpace. <laughs>